So it's a fairly typical day for me, trying to get the kids and the dog fed and out the door. And I'm now on the way to the stables to do my horse pepper. As any working mum with horses knows, you try to keep life as easy and as stress-free as possible. So I've got to be honest, I don't soak my horse's hair, I never have done. She doesn't cough, so I didn't really feel the need. It just feels like it's another stress. But as a journalist, I get quite a lot of research papers sent through. And one thing really caught my eye, it was research from Hay Gang that said that 80% of horses that are stable kept for only part of the time suffer from some kind of um, airway inflammation. Now this really made me think that maybe I should be steaming my horse's hay because I want her to be at her absolute optimum health. I event and I need her to be healthy. So I thought I'd give Hay Gain a try. I was reticent at first. When it first arrived, I didn't get out of the box for a few days. I just felt like it was just another thing to do. It's another job. But anyway, it's actually unbelievably easy and stress-free and my horse loves the hay. So let's go and have a look. I'm on my way to the yard now. When we get there, I'll show you how it all works. Okay, so there are six simple stages to steaming your hay with the hay game. Number one, put your hay into the hay game. Now there are a few ways you can do this. The first way is with hay nets, which is what I did initially. And then I discovered that due to the very high temperatures of the steamer, some hay nets shrink. I now have quite a few very dinky mantle pony hay nets. Hay game do sell hay nets which are resistant to these high temperatures, so that's another way you can do it. Or the third way is just to put it in loose, and actually I find that really easy because I use big bell hay, and instead of trying to shove the hay into a hay net every day, I just take one big section, I put it straight into the steamer, close the lid. Number two is you've got to put water into the steamer. Now they provide you with a watering can and a funnel to make this nice and easy for you. It also means that you can measure exactly how much water is going in. I find around five litres is enough for one horse. As I say, use the funnel, just pour it in. Number three, put the cap back on. Now this is very important because if you don't, all the steam will escape and it won't go into your hay. And then turn it on. Number four, wait around 50 minutes for your hay to steam. Now it's really important that you make sure that the temperature gauge goes into the green zone, which is around 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees centigrade. It takes about half an hour to get that hot and there's another 20 minutes or so more steaming time. So it's 50 minutes in total. If you do a second lot, it's actually much quicker because it's already hot, so it takes around half an hour. So while it's steaming, go off and do your jobs, muck out, you can even ride. Um, like I say, allow around 50 minutes for the first steam and 30 for the second. Number five, turn it off and then make sure you stand to the side of the hay steamer while you open the lid because the steam will come out and obviously it's very hot. Number six, get the hay out and feed it to your horse. Now it's quite hot when you very first open up the steamer, just give it five minutes and it'll be cool down, and easy cool enough to handle and you can feed it straight away to your horse. It's actually recommended to feed it immediately, although it's still fine to feed up to 24 hours later. So what I tend to do is I steam it first thing in the morning, I put it in a stable and then it's ready for her when she comes in at night. And the hay that comes out smells amazing. It's really sweet. Um, it just smells unbelievably appetizing. The horses do love it. There you go. Super simple, six easy stages to delicious dust free hay. So hopefully it's given you an insight into how unbelievably easy the hay gain is to use. There's no more heavy soggy hay nets, no more dusty hay, just happy, healthy horses. I really do recommend it. I think you should give it a go. I am definitely converted.